Listen to the top anglers reveal their winning strategies. Stop number two, Truman Lake, May 17th of the Solo Pro Series, presented by MS Propane and Godfather's Pizza. So I'm uh, Jay Oliver from Harrison, Arkansas. Uh, I got first place today in the Solo Pro Tournament with 18.25. Uh, 18 so you targeting the same thing? Yeah, actually, uh, I gave my, my father-in-law the jigs uh, that uh, he caught them on, and a, a good friend of mine kind of told me what to go look for and uh, what to throw. So I threw a jewel, jewel uh, jig with a, a Yamamoto twin tail grub, chartreuse tail. And that's, I had one on, when the wind picked up this morning, I, I uh, threw, a, I had caught one on a, uh, on a spinner bait, but everything else came off that jig. And you I, dip your trailers in chartreuse, like yeah, the yeah, just the tips of them, yeah, <clears throat> yep, the tails. And then, uh, so I've been here. I came Friday. I had uh, 17 and a half pounds Friday, 16 and a half pounds yesterday, and I just knew it was going to be a, a big zero today. You know, <laughs> you catch them good before the tournament, and then don't catch them during the tournament. So, yeah, it was, uh, I was fortunate to. Uh, same type of stuff, you know, uh, kind of rocks, ledgy stuff, and I just, you know, long banks, and I stayed on that pretty much all day. I left, and it was, I was up in Tebow, and I left and come back, and, you know, I'd give it a rest and go back and do it again, and just there'd be different fish there, you know, just about every time I went in there, so. You're hit, you, you went and targeted your same banks and just kept yep. taking Yep, that's the, the same fish I caught 17 pounds and 16 pounds a day. The two days before, I caught 18 today off of it. So that was that's uh, that's rare too. So, yeah. Well, did you try different size weights of this jig? Like no. Nope. There's a nine sixteenths is the only only size I had, and that's that's the one we use. So. Can you throw that big line, twenty pound line? Yeah, yep. Yeah. I was uh, twenty pound cigar. That's what I had on. I had a couple break, and you know, I don't just I guess digging in the rocks and stuff probably frayed my line a little bit, but I had a couple break offs. But um, other than that, it was pretty pretty smooth day. Uh, catch a lot of fish? Uh, I think I had about 10 or 12 keepers, but you know, I caught those the good ones early. So I was, you know, mostly just trying to cull and I couldn't. I caught, the ones, once I caught them, it was, I was done, you know, I caught those early and I kept fishing, but I mean, I, I was catching keepers, but they weren't, they weren't good enough to help me, so. Well, congratulations. Okay, so, man. What are you going to do with your money? <laughs> Probably have to give it to my wife. <laughs> Uh, Michael Smith from Harrison, Arkansas. I finished second today. I caught all my fish on a uh, jewel jig in the Tebow, or not Tebow, I'm sorry, uh, Osage Bluff, Big Palmy area. Now, are you catching them in the standard spawning, pre spawn? Uh, they were, I think they were on the beds. I couldn't see them. The water was too dirty to see, but I was fishing shallow, ledgy stuff. Just any ledgy bank up there. Catch any like around, were they hanging around wood or some type of structure that you notice? No, there's more on rock than there were wood. Uh, didn't hurt to have trees on the bank, but uh, I, I, I couldn't really pinpoint them at, you know, on the wood. They were more on rock than there were wood. Well, from Harrison, that's a little bit of a drive. Did you pre-fish for the last couple days? I, I fished Saturday. Here, come up. as good as it was today? Or? I never caught crap at practice. I was lost. So did you abandon your pattern? And I didn't have a pattern to abandon. Just, just went fishing. I just went fishing today. Well, are you familiar with this lake? Yeah, I've fished it quite a bit. I've fished over the years up here, yeah. Okay. Yep. Someone going out tomorrow, what, what can they do to catch fish if you're just out? I'd get in the, uh, uh, a cove that had like some ledgy bank, you know, like a channel swing in the cove, maybe a little timber on the bank and pitch at jewel jigs, what I was catching mine on. Uh, Bob Roberts, got third place today. Um, honestly, I had a really hard practice. I was struggling to catch you know, five keepers, felt like I was doing all the right things, uh, trying a bunch of different water, but uh, I had a couple spots that I knew had some fish and pulled up to one today and it was in better shape than I thought it was. And basically caught all my fish out of one spot, um, flipping you know, the base of bushes that were about a foot and a half deep in water, um, throwing a motion uh, brush jig, new jig that we're releasing, um, and then would switch it up with a black and blue beaver. So fishing dirty water, and covering points and 
just basically running running a bunch of water, but all my fish came from one spot today. They were loaded in there. Do you think they're spawning, spawn down, in all three phases? Yeah, I think you still got all three phases. Um, I think those pre-spawn is very little though. Uh, I think the spawn's probably mostly done too. So you got a lot of those fish are gonna start working their way out would be, from what I'm seeing, you're starting to get bass eating a bunch of shad, stuff like that. So I'd say we're closer to that post-spawn period right now. Think uh, next couple of days fishing is going to be still still very good. Yeah, it's still good. I mean, just go cover all those points. Uh, you know, secondaries, main lakes. That's where the fish are going to be coming to. So, um, you know, just go fish around them and probably run into a few. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find find me at uh, Bobby Roberts Fishing on Instagram or at Motion Fishing. Uh, run that page to Owner of Motion. So check both those pages out and be glad to connect with you.